In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use Google Gemini Studio online to create unlimited number of websites completely for free. If that sounds good, I want you guys to leave a like, subscribe, to leave a comment, any questions you have along the way. I'm gonna show you guys how to use Google AI Studio with the latest Gemini 3 Pro model from start to finish. And by the end of this video, you have your own fully functional website with a live link that you can share with the world. Uh, you can use this an unlimited number of times to create whatever your imagination can think of. So to get started, you, you can just type in AI Studio, press enter, click the first link and you'll be presented on the official AI Studio website. We're going to click on get started. We're going to want to log in with an existing Gmail account. If you don't have an account yet, you can click on create account button. So we have an account. I'm just going to log in with it. Enter your email, enter your password. Once you're successfully logged in to AI Google Studio, you'll present it with this type of view. What you're going to do is you can click a new app. Once you're here, you'll be presented with a screen like this. You can change the model here. We're currently using Gemini 3 Pro Preview. And if you click that, you're able to change the different models. Then we're going to keep it on the newest model. For system instructions, we can change this as well. Right now, it's defaulted. There's only two options, React TypeScript or Angular TypeScript. So it's creating those two. We're going to keep it on React for now. And we're just going to keep everything as it is. And we're going to describe our idea. If you want to go down below, you can see, you can browse the gallery for like different ideas that people have created as well, right? Different landing pages people created. And there's people have created literally games from this as well. Gemini Runner. So somebody literally created this from prompt and you can literally use this as well. It's an actual working game. I'm playing the game right now. There's a lot of different things you can do. You can find existing projects or you can create your brand new project as well. There's so many different ideas that people have created, a lot of different cool animations, but we'll go to beautiful landing pages. And what we'll do is we're going to click on research visualization. And you can create something from brand a brand new prompt that you liked as well. So this to me, this one looks cool, right? Um, you can see the code here. And on the top right, you can save a copy to Google Drive. You can download the app. You can save to GitHub. You can deploy the app yourself. You can share the app. You can switch API key. But once we found something we like, first I'll show you guys how to edit existing ones. Then I'll show you guys how to create brand new ones. We'll say change this entire website into something about about car theme. And once you once it did, you send the prompt. And what it's going to do is it's going to take this existing website, this existing prompt, and it's going to change it to whatever you really want it to do. And you can see here after I typed in the prompt, change this entire website into something about car theme. Gemini 3 Pro Preview is literally going to vibe code its, its own thing. And when it's done vibe coding, you'll be able to see it in real time here. We're going to let it run and do its thing. This is actually a very nice website that is vibe coded, right? You can pick from pre-created vibe, code, vibe coded websites and literally change it to kind of your own use case. And this is the result of the website that we created. You can see in real time as it's editing the website, it's literally changing it in real time. You can see it's changing to like a car theme sort of website. Visually, it's and it's, it's it even changed the animation to just something car theme related. Wow, this is actually pretty amazing. And you guys are able to even view the thought process. So it's sort of really just thinking behind the scenes and what it's doing. And it's, it's just creating the existing theme. You guys can view the different changes as well. You can view all the folders and change the stuff as well. You can see what was before and what was after. You can restore the previous versions if you like that as well. From literally one single prompt, it's pretty much just, it changed everything to a car theme website using the existing UX design. And these are like some animations it created. I don't know how or what, how it even created this animation, but I like it. Visually, it looks really nice. How does it look on mobile? Mobile, it looks just as great. Tablet, it looks great as well. So make sure you click Save to Google Drive. Click the Save button. Click your email to log in. And we're just pretty much saving this. And you can download the app as well, and you can edit as well. So you, we can just download the app and download all the files. You can see here that we got a zip. If you unzip the file, and you can literally see that it's it's everything that I vibe coded right here. You can save this to GitHub as well, or we can just share the app. We, we, we can click this Share button. And we'll get a live link that we can just share. So I'm pretty happy with the result of this. Okay, next I'll show you guys how to create a, a website from scratch. So we're going to go back to the AI Studio default screen. We're going to say create me a website. I run a hamburger shop. Use foodie theme colors. I'm going to let Gemini 3 do its thing. Click build. And we see here that it's literally going to create this from scratch. I just said create me a website. I run a hamburger shop. Use foodie theme colors. Right now... This is strictly pretty much just front end the AI Studio because the AI Studio, it doesn't really do back end yet. So everything is just pretty much front end. 
So I typed in one single prompt and I'm gonna, I let it do its thing. I don't know what it's gonna print out, but after this, I'm gonna show you how to host it for free as well. You can rename the project. So I showed you guys before how to edit an existing project from one of the, the predefined that, that they share on the AI studio. And now I'm showing you how to create a website completely from scratch of your own. You can change a prompt, you can create this like game. You can tell it to create you utilities. Like maybe you want a calculator, you want a remote control, whatever your mind can think of that can be on a website you can type it in in a single prompt and it'll print and it'll output you a beautifully designed website you can be specific if you want but i'm not being specific i'm kind of just letting it i'm letting it do its things to show you the power of what it can really do okay it's done it created the website let's open full screen this was the website created from one single prompt i said i, I owned a burger restaurant and it's creating this website look at the attention to detail on this it's like some type of shop front end and we can definitely add more, right? We can add more and tell it to finish the website and create more pages. And this is actually very beautiful. It's, well, how does it look on mobile? So this is something we just created from a single prompt. I'm very impressed. Rotate it on mobile. Do you guys see any flaw? I mean, look at the attention to detail, even the images, it's correct. We, we created, a, I told it to create me a burger type website and it created me, the images are pretty relevant too. I mean, some of the images, strawberries, but it's like a shop front end and everything here just there's different options you can pick as well to enhance it you can, you can annotate you can you can talk as well you can talk to it you can add files to it you can okay so we can copy the app you can copy you can copy the project open the version history download the app if you download the app we'll get a zip file and if you open the zip, the zip file you'll you pretty much just get all the files that i created so i'm going to show you guys next how to host it for free but we're gonna i'm gonna show you guys how to host it now click on save to github account Click on sign into GitHub. You're going to need to create a GitHub account previous. GitHub.com. Click on sign up. Sign up over a brand new GitHub account. If you have an account, an account, you can just sign in. So I'm going to sign in with my existing GitHub account. Okay. So I'm just literally signed into GitHub. Click the sign into GitHub button. It'll pop up this thing. It's going to install an authorized Google AI Studio with your GitHub account. Click on make sure you can do, you can change the option here, but I'll just allow everything. And then I'm going to install and authorize. You can sort of, it's going to create a brand new repository in your GitHub. So you can name this whatever you want for the description name you want. You can make this private or public. My burger website. Then you're going to click on create Git, re Git re re repo. What this does is it creates a brand new GitHub repo with your website that you just created. And it's pretty much doing this. Once everything looks good, click on stage and commit all changes. Once it's good like that, go back and click exit out. So we saved it to GitHub. Go back to GitHub, search for the project. You can find, if we found here Tech Kevin Burger AI Studio, click it. Yours will be different. Go back to your search browser, type in vercel.com, press enter. So once we're on the Vercel website, we're going to click on sign up. If you don't have an account yet, you're going to click on sign up. You're going to click on hobby. You're going to pick your name, Kevin Berger. Press continue. You're going to continue with your GitHub account. Since we have an existing GitHub account, we're going to log into our GitHub. Once you click on continue with GitHub, you'll present it the screen. Just click on continue. There we go. We're logged into the website. You're going to click on add new. Click on project. When this pops up, you should see the one that we just picked, we just created from in the example we show. Tech Kevin Berger AI Studio. We're going to click import. If you don't see it, you can manually type it in. Click on import. Once you see the screen and everything looks good, you're going to click on deploy. Don't touch it. Just wait right now. The reason I'm using this is because it, it's a little more effort to do like this. But if you want to pay, you can also just host it through Google AI Studio as well. But this is, but for sale, it's pretty much free. Okay, so it's hosted and we're going to click on continue to dash and you'll get, you'll have a link here. So another option to host, you can click on deploy app, select your cloud project. And you can see here, my first project popped up and you can, you can click through the settings and enter your information and it'll, it'll deploy a link for you here. That's pretty much the full tutorial on how to use Google AI Studio to vibe code your website completely for free and host it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe, turn post notifications on if you haven't yet and comment any questions you have down along the way.